I'm here in the middle of the jungle at night, waiting for a tiny mammal with big, adorable eyes to come out of a tree and do its business. It's a very strange life these scientists lead. This is a Philippine slow loris, one of eight species in the world. These miniature mammals are nocturnal primates. Despite their fluffy exterior and disarming wide eyes, slow loris are stealthy predators. They sleep during the day and come out to feed at night before slipping back into the darkness. Tonight I'm with primate expert Danica and we're heading deep into the jungle to replace a radio collar on a slow loris named Boss. Boss, yeah. Cute name. Let's do it. My name's Danica Stark and I'm from Canada. I'm a primatologist supervising all of the primate projects here at DG. In the short term, we just want to understand the basic ecology of these animals. In the long term, we can use all of that information to inform conservation plans the main threat for slow loris is pet trade. People want them as a pet because they're cute, they're fluffy, they've got the big eyes. If the perceptions don't change about having these animals as pets, I think that the, the future is actually quite bleak. So the, the biggest thing that we have to do is really tell people that slow lorises belong in the wild, not as pets, and then there can be some hope. So tonight we're going to catch slow loris called Boss. It's a slow loris we've been following since 2012 and her collar is about to die. So we need to wait for her to come down. We're gonna grab her and change the collar. At the start of the night, the slow loris will come down pretty low to defecate and then we'll go back up into the tree. So we're waiting for her to come down so we can um, grab her then. Why do they come down low to have a poop? One of the hypotheses is they come down so that they're the feces is just getting on the ground and it's not touching anything that they might be consuming. Okay. Let's do it. All right. With Boss moving quickly along the canopy, we need to be in exactly the right place at the right time when she comes down. So she's on the move already. Yeah. She's gone over that way. So the guys are over there trying to, to spot her now, but she's coming down low now. Okay. Yeah, so we'll go over there. We've got the antenna out and the receiver to try to triangulate where she is. Are you going to be the one actually catching it? No, I won't be catching it. It'll be our research assistants, the RAs, that'll catch them. They're pros. Yeah. They've been doing it for years now. Yeah. Does it sometimes ever hit home that you're here in the jungle <laughs> waiting for a tiny primate to come yeah, down and have a poo? It's surreal, isn't it? <laughs> okay. We turn off some lights. Okay. Danica, have they got her? Not yet. So far she's evading us and one of those one of the reasons why she's really hard to spot up there is that slow lorises have actually extra vertebrae in their spine and it allows them to move around and twist and bend around the vines and the branches so they can move in a way that they don't disturb anything around them. So is that why well, the colouring is so important? To Absolutely, you? yeah. Yeah. Okay, they got her. Okay, we've got her. We've got her. Got it. Got it. Wow. Got awesome. Good job. It just shows how important the work that these guys do is. Unbelievable. Okay. So now we have Boss. We're going to weigh her just to check how she's her weight's kind of maintained. The last time we caught her was July. Then we'll put the new collar on and then send her on the way. Hopefully it'll be a very quick process. So Jack, how heavy was she last time? 720 grams. Okay. Oh. 680. So she's lost some weight. She's lost some weight. Last time we caught her, she was pregnant. 
Oh, okay. So it would make a little bit of sense. Yeah. Where do you think her baby is? So lorises park their babies at night and then they go off. So the baby should be up in the sleeping tree still, kind of just doing its own thing. So she will have covered it in their toxin to protect it from predation and then is able to take off for the night. Ah, yes. Another surprise of these huggable hunters. They can secrete a toxic bite. Strangely, they secrete a fluid from their brachial gland on the upper arms. The slow loris licks the secretion. When mixed with saliva, it becomes toxic. It then licks the baby, coating it in the toxin, keeping predators away. It can also be used in self-defense and sometimes even to hunt. All right, let's try to get this on her. Okay, where are you? This is Boss. I'd heard stories, but nothing can prepare you for the cuteness of a slow loris. Oh, stay in the bag. Look at those eyes. Yeah, so this is the reason why people want slow loris as a pet, because those eyes are just too much. So first we're gonna cut the collar. Okay, baby. Oh, look at that face. So this is our slow loris collar. This is the radio collar here. So we've got our battery, the VHF device that we use for tracking the signal. And then this here is our accelerometer. Basically, it's going to record every movement that the animal makes. So we can learn a little bit more about what they're doing when we're not watching her. This is the very first time we've done this with the slow loris. So we really don't know what we're gonna find out. All right, I think we cut it. I think we're good. Time to put her back in the trees. Time to put her back. Let her get on with her night. Oh, she's ready to go. Here you go. Okay, now Jack. Oh, she's gonna go straight up. Bye, boss. Thank you. See you in a month. So quick. Yeah, very fast. Congratulations. Thank you. Successful operation. Very successful. I'm very happy. We got her on the first night. Quick process, she looks good. Happy with the collar, so really excited to see what this has to show us. We'll catch her again in a month to take the accelerometer off and look at, look at what it's done. The pressure on Slow Loris from the international pet trade is huge. Through her research, Danica is helping keep these precious primates where they belong, free and in the wild.